Is there anybody here who has any word to say based on what the Father has said? So if we are all in agreement, say we are all in agreement. Amen. Now come back again, Pastor Kevin. We are together today. Oh. Yes, sir. Be at peace. Yes, sir. You are going to take her hand now. Hold on to that hand. Can you walk on my mind, please? Lower it down. Lower my line down, please. Amen. Look at his eyes now, not me now. <laughs> Don't look at the flowers. Pastor Kevin. Pastor Kevin, look at me. Don't look at any other place. Oh. Only the eyes. This is church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anointed place. Uh, Anointed place. Sir. His eyes are just running everywhere. Amen. Pastor Kevin, I'm going to say this after me. Say, in the presence of God. In the presence of God. I, I Kevin, Kevin Rugoti, do take you. Do take you. Pamela. Pamela. Fadzai Mukuyu. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> to have you, to have you, to hold you, to hold you this day forward, this day forward, in all conditions, in all conditions, with deepest joy, with deepest joy, I receive you into my life, I receive you into my life, that together, that together. We may be one. We may be one. I will care for you. I will care for you. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. I will leave all other women for you. I will leave all other women for you. Mm. Yeah. As Christ is to this body. As Christ is to his body. The church. The church. So I will be to you. So I will be to you. A faithful. Be faithful. Yeah. Not be faithful. You. I will be faithful. <laughs> A faithful, faithful, a sacrificial husband, a sacrificial husband, with my body, with my body, I will honor you, Pamela. I will honor you in all that I have. In all that I have, I endure you. I endure you with you. With you, I will love you. I will love you. I will cherish you. I will cherish as you. long as we shall both live together. As both, as long as we shall live together, according to God's holy ordinances. According to God's holy ordinances. I make my pledge to you today. I make my pledge to you today. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love some Pamela. <laughs> Jesus. That's my man. Amen. 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 And now let us hear Pamela's own. And I hope Pastor Kevin can still be standing. Sweet, you want to use your right hand to hold her hand. Use your right hand to hold your right hand. Yeah, good. Pastor Kevin, don't squeeze your face too much. <laughs> Let's hear the bride say, in the presence of God, in the presence of God, I, Pamela, I, Pamela, do take you, Pastor Kevin, do take you, Kevin, Wadi, to be my lawful wedded husband to be my lawful wedded husband to have to have and to hold, and to hold from this day forward from this day forward in all conditions of life in all conditions of life with deepest joy with deepest joy i receive you into my life i receive you into my life that together that together we may be one we may be one with my body with my body i honor you i honor you pastor kevin Amen. He's just shaking like this. <laughs> With deepest joy, I receive you to my life. With deepest joy, I receive that you together to we life. become one. That together we become my one. body, I honor you. With my body, With my body I, honor I honor you. That all that I have, that all that I, I, have adore you with. I adore you with. 
I will submit to you all the days of my life. As long as we shall both live together according to God's holy ordinances and thereto, I pledge unto you my throne. Pledge unto you my throne. I pledge unto you my throne. T R O T H, yeah. And everybody will say, Amen. Before we do the ring exchange, I was told you have a Bible. So we want to get a Bible so that we can use the Bible to first of all do the marriage. No, you stay. Beloved, for many of us who have never like gone to a place where they use the Bible to marry, the ring is very good. It's, an, it's a traditional ring that every couple use for their marriage. But however, we have seen a situation where the ring was being used that started affecting the marriage. And we have seen some people who had dreams, they have where the ring fell off their hand. And the enemy at times come close to the person, touch that ring with a demonic liquid and go back to their camp and start cooking that marriage not to work. So the enemy has fought that ring so badly that before they will come and fight this Bible in your marriage, it will be very difficult. So we encourage people, use the Bible. We are still going to use the ring, but this is the backbone of every marriage. This is what? The backbone of every marriage. So both of you are going to hold this Bible together and you made this declaration to each other. Pastor Kevin, you are going to be, this is not shaking shoulder now. You're going to look at her eyes and read it to her. I say, with this holy Bible, with this holy Bible, which is the word of God, which is the word of God, I do word. I do it. I surrender myself to you. I surrender myself to you. In sacrifice. In sacrifice. And I will nurse you. And I will nurse you. With all my possession. With all my possession. In the name of the Father. In the name of the, the name Father, of the Son. In the name of the, the Son. Name of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Say, so as you read this Bible. As you read this Bible. You will know me better. You will know me better. You will know who I am in your you life. You will know who I am. You will know what God wants me to become. You will know what, what God wants me to become. Everything about my life. Everything about my life. Is not in anybody's hand. Is not in anybody's hand. It's in this world. It is in this world. If I'm not doing well in this marriage. If I'm not doing well in this marriage. Look at this Bible. Look at this Bible. It is a guide to my life. It is a guide to Everything me. about me is in this Bible. Everything in my life. So I give it to you today. I give it to you today. That with this. And with this. We can stand together. We can stand together. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Man. Still holding the Bible. Pamela will not read. Say with this holy Bible. With this holy Bible. Which is the word of God. Which is the word of God. I did word. I did word. I surrender myself to you. I surrender myself. In sacrifice you. and in, and I will nurse you. In sacrifice and I will. Nurse you. I will nurse you. With all my possessions. As you read this Bible, As you, read this Bible you, will know Pamela, you will know Pamela, not just the physical, not just the physical you will know my spiritual being. You will know, my spiritual you will know where I'm coming from. You will know, where I'm coming you know from. the God that I, I chose to follow. You know the God that I chose to follow. In any area I offend you, in any area, in, in any area I will offend in you, area I will offend you, in the journey of life in this marriage, in the journey of life in this marriage, don't run to any place. The solution is in this Bible. The solution is in this Bible. Because my life is in this Bible. Because my life is in this I give it to you today. I give it to you today. To know me better. To know me better. So that we can stand together. So that we can stand in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. At the church we say. Yeah. See with this. To the two of you. It holds your marriage for life. This kept my marriage. It will keep your marriage. The ring's good. It's just traditional. But we, we believe in the word of God. Let this word be 
You can meet us. You can run to your mom. You can run to your neighbor. But before you meet anybody, run to this word first. Search it. Read it. It will reveal her to you and reveal him to you. At the church, we say, God bless you. Let's bring our ring out. Thank you. Church, we lift up this string before the Lord. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful for this ring. There are materials picked from the ground, which is your earth, that was being used and formed, and formed to be a ring. As this ring rounds, um, it's an endless roundness, so will their marriage all of, always be. It will be an endless it will continue to rotate from glory to glory to glory to glory. We lift up this train. Whatever place it might have touched, whoever might have touched it, whoever might have seen it, we sanctify it now with the precious blood of Jesus. That as our children will use it as from today, it will not just be an ordinary ring, Lord, it will bring your glory. It will be your presence in the home. It will be your hand in the home. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We set fire upon these rings. Burn away what needs to be burned out. Lord, remove what needs to be removed. We put in the blood of Jesus into every part of this ring. That it will not be an ordinary ring, but Lord, it will be the fire of God in their marriage. To boost them up and higher and higher. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church of God will say a big amen. Pastor okay, Kevin, you ready? Yes, sir. Woman of God, want to bring the finger that want to put it now. Good. You ready? Yes, sir. Amen. Are we all ready? Yes. Let's clap for them again. <laughs> I'm happy the wife is telling him the, the finger to put it. Say, Pastor K. As we are saying this, you will be pushing it into it, okay? Say, Pamela. Pamela. Hi. <laughs> it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Did I tell you to say it? <laughs> I would just say my own. It's excited. Amen. It's okay. I want to make you free. Say, Pamela. Pamela. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And a memorial. And a memorial. That I have taken you. That I have taken you. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. In good. In good. In the best. In the best. In the excellent. In the excellent. In every situation of life. In every situation of life. In the life. name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The name of the Son. In the name of the Son. The name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Holy Spirit. And everybody will say. Amen. Where's your cameraman? Sir, come. Come and do it. Stay here. Don't worry. I will put it again because it's for you left. Put your hand again. Let him do it. Come. You are a good man. Uh -huh. Do it well. Good.
Are you okay? okay? If you need more pictures, just signal me. Okay? Because what we can see after today are the pictures. Now, we will now give to Pamela. Say, Kevin. Kevin. Photographer. Come, 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 come. Come to, come to that place. Okay, come this side. Good. Is there a good position for you? Yes, sir. Say, Kevin, Kevin, I give you this drink as, as a token of my love and a memorial that I have taken you to be my lawful wedded husband in good, in the best, in the excellent, in every situation of life, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And you push it inside. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, Pastor Kevin. Two of you lift your two hands up like this, turn it down. No, not to me. To this. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? When you wait on God, God will surprise you. If you go yourself, <laughs> you will still be surprised. It might be this story too. God is surprising you. If you are not married and you are here, wait till... God will tell you, go. Blessed. Wave to me. <laughs> Samali, where is she? All these singles in this church, they are seen now. Amen? Wonderful. When? Wendy. We shall do your own soon. Both of you are now going to, you're going to climb up to come. Turn around to the church. Pastor Kevin and Pamela today, they have already agreed to get a, a holy matrimony, and they have entered into a home to build together. And we are all here as witnesses to witness what God is doing. And therefore, we are going to pray upon them that God will now watch over them as from today as husband and wife. Can you both be kneeling down? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy will be done. Lord, today we stand as we lift our hands unto you for what you have done in the life of your son and your daughter. Lord, they both kneel before you. They are Alpha and Omega, the beginning of all things and the end of all things. The Elohim, El Shaddai, the God that has never failed and will never fail. And Lord, as a stand, they have come before you. We are praying and lifting them before you that your oil of gladness was them stronger. We cover Kevin and Pamela with the blood of Yeshua Jesus. That no evil shall be for you. The hands of the enemy shall not prevail upon you. 
God will bless you physically, bless you spiritually, bless you materially, bless everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus. Anyone or power or people that thought they have overtaken you long time, you will overtake them in a split of a second. Your children shall be giant to stand to fail the gate of the enemy to pull them down. You will not just produce children, but you will produce champions. You will not just produce children, you will produce go-getters. You will not just produce children, you will produce children that will serve the Lord. That they, when they look your home, they will say, Baba, thank God for the life of Kevin and Pamela. Today, as both of you kneel together, we lift you up before your show and we declare the blessings of heaven over your home prevail. As you start a new marriage, a new life now, may the God that is able and started this marriage watch over you. In the name of Jesus. May the balm of Gilead wrap around you in any situation you find yourself, may the blood of Jesus protect you. Anyone that will go on a journey, on an evil journey to come to meet you, they will collide with the rock of ages. Anyone that will bring wrong gift to you, that gift will die with them. May God bless you both. Whoever will come physically or spiritually to touch you, Pamela, to touch any part of your body, to find out if you are pregnant or not, may their eyes go blind. Anyone that will monitor you as a monitoring spirit, may their altar collapse. The God that brought you together will do things at his own time and season. I declare peace unto this home. I declare favor upon this marriage. Thank you, wonderful father. And I declare you now unto the church as husband, as wife, as you both stand up together. Church, can we all rise up on our faith? three people say, I'm glad to see this today. Tell somebody, say, I'm glad to see this today. Are we glad? I want to present to you. Can you come closer this way? Good. I'm presenting to you the latest couple. Hey, hey. Stretch your hand to where them and just thank God for their life. Go ahead and thank God for their life. Father, we thank you for the life of Pastor Kevin. In Jesus' name. I present both of them to you as husband. His eyes have been running to and fro. We don't know what his eyes have been looking around. So I will have to step aside so that their eyes don't fall me one side. Eh? Pastor Kevin, face your wife. Uh, winding up, buddy. Hey. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we cannot say to you, Pastor Kevin, behold your wife, kiss your wife. Hey! Hey! Hallelujah! <laughs> Are you feeling it? Did you all see it? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Can I find out from somebody if, if the person saw it? To the side. I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I didn't okay, see let it. me ask Kevin's mother first. You saw it? Okay. 
If the mother saw it, because the mother has never seen it since he born the child. So we are satisfied. Yes or no? Give a clap of it to them. Say so we celebrate you both. Amen. No, no. Be at peace. Just take her back a little bit. This side. Just step backwards a little. Woman of God, you're supposed to be following how. Amen. You need, you need some help? Yeah. Okay, go. Okay. Beloved, we want to experience something. I know many of us will see it in the weddings, but we don't understand the meaning. What it means is that the fire in his life, and the fire, the grace, the blessings, every, both of them, they are not going to light one up and hold on to that one. So there is nothing like I, but we. So if you're a husband here, you are a wife here, you keep saying I. I'm the head of this home. Your wife will tell you from today, you're not the head of this home. Jesus is the head of the home. Am I making a point? Anytime a man is saying you are the head of this home, you put the Holy Spirit to one side. Jesus is the head of all home. Yes, you are the leader. God put you to guide. But our main strength is from our Father in heaven. So, Pastor Kevin... You see, this one is not lighted up yet. You're going to take one on. Woman of God, you will take one on, Pamela. Take one. And you're going to both light it up. With your right hand, man of God. Good. This is your own gifts. Everything in your life. This is your own gift. You are not going to put it together and you are going to have one strength together. That is what is standing for you. So go ahead and let's see you. <laughs> so hold on. Hold on that. Take that one now. The Bible says, I lifted up my eyes to the heavens. Where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord. Both of them are lifting their eyes up to the Lord. Where does our help come from? It comes to the Lord. And I go to step down. You walk. Where is the keyboard? Can you stay on the drum for me, please? And where is the keyboard now? Stay on the keyboard. I play a song for them. Amen? You carefully walk down. Look at me. You walk there. To that cameraman, please. You walk back. You are walking the freeness and the liberty of God as one all the days of your life. I hope you understand it. Don't be afraid. Walk confidently. Walk like the way your bishop walk. Yes, Hallelujah. Go ahead now. Take her gently now. Give us Amen. Like Good. Good. You are
Turn around now. At the touch of life. As they are standing there, just hold on. Michael, turn the light of all the light at the back. All the light at the back. Leave only the, this light in the stage light on them. So that the camera can take pictures for them. Of the next one. Can we leave the back? Just leave them. Can you turn this one off? Leave that one on for them. Kevin, the no, no, no. Just leave, yeah. Of the last one to the left, stream left. Camera, when you are done, you let me know. Turn this light on just them alone. Light man, light man. No, go back, go back, go back, your son. Turn the other light, this light, turn it on them. And off the off one. Turn it on them. Where are you going that side? <laughs> Where are you going that side? He couldn't get it. He's trying. He's trying. You're almost getting it. Okay, leave it. Okay, go back again. Turn it back. Turn it back. No. Bring it. Follow the light. You're traveling too far. I want to do it. I'm breaking protocol. Just turn it. Bring it. Put it on them. Is it on them? Is it on them? Okay. Shut this one down. Shut the other one down. Where the cameraman? Shut this one down. Israel, can you help us out? With... Leave the light up. Your hand is shaking. Okay. Turn the lights on now. Let's clap for them. So, Pastor Kevin, you go straight to your seat now. May we be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hey, pay to somebody, so I'm glad you came. We have just done one part, and I will invite the speaker that will give us a 10 minute message. I'm not going to stand here to do that. But somebody's going to a very compressed message. It is not the length of the message but the content of the message. Because I know we are prepared to run down for the reception, but we just have to allow 
the minister God has set down to bless her with a 10 minutes message. And the person that stood today to speak to you, that I've seen his marriage stable, consistent, and still consistent, is whom I've said should preach to you. A marriage man that I know that has copied Bishop very well. And when he's talking, he's speaking the truth, but not about the truth. So can you help us rise up and welcome Pastor Rotimi Akigbe? Keep clapping for him to come. I'm glad that. I uh, also want to remind everyone again Pastor Kevin is taken. And uh, our sister Pamela is also what? Taken. Father, we thank you for today. We bless and honor your mighty name. Let your word come through. Let your word, O King of King and Lord of Lord, minister to our soul. Let it minister to every part of our lives. Just as our Lord Jesus performed the first miracle at a wedding, even today, our brother, Pastor Kevin, and the wife, Pamela Rousey, shall begin to experience testimony upon testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for that which you have done. We bless and honor your mighty name. It is settled already. They have been joined. All we are here doing is just to speak your word over them. And let that word, O Lord, of yours come through for them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly do a breeze through the message. Because I know uh, Pastor Kevin and Pamela, they are itching to get, get things done. Because it has been ordained already. They have been pronounced man and wife. Hallelujah. Why Pastor Kevin has been going through the length and breadth of America looking for a bride. The Lord was busy preparing somebody for him somewhere far away. I want you to look at somebody by your side. Say God's testimony for your life. Say it doesn't matter where it is located. See, in his time, he will bring it to you. Amen. We're going to be looking at the scriptures today, and what I'm, the title today is uh, Marriage is Honorable. Pastor K, what I'm telling you is that what you have entered today, it is a honorable thing. The scripture tells us in Hebrews 13, verses 4 to 6, Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 13, verses 4 through 6, the Amplified Version is what I'm using. If, Tenika, if you are there with me, you can go with me. If you are not there, I'm just going to go along. It says, marriage is to be held in honor among all. Marriage is to be held in honor among all. That is, regarded as something of great value. And the marriage bed undefiled by immorality or by any sexual sin. For God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Next verse, please. And it says, let your character, I hope you're looking at, I hope you're listening, Kevin and Pamela. It says, let your character, your moral essence, your inner nature, be free from the love of what? Money. Shun greed, be financially ethical, being content with what you have. For he has said, I will never, you see that word never is in capital. I will never, under any circumstances, desert you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. Nor will I in any degree leave you helpless. Nor will I forsake or let you down or relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. 
And then the next verse, the beautiful part. It says, so, Kevin and Pamela will now be declaring. It says, so we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently say, the Lord is my helper in time of need. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Praise the Lord. The Lord ordained and instituted marriage from the beginning of creation. After the Lord had given an enthroned man, when you look at the book of Genesis, God gave man dominion. God created everything and gave man authority over it. God gave man directive of what to do with the things that he had created. Then suddenly, Genesis 2.18, the Lord says, and the Lord says, God said, it is not good or beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper, one who balances him. Amen? One who does what? Balances him. A counterpart who is suitable and complementary for him. The Lord thought it good to provide a helper, not a contender. The Lord thought it good to provide a helper, not a slave. The Lord thought it good to provide a helper, not a competitor. A help meet, as the King James Version will put it. The Lord taught it to provide a companion, not a rival. You are not rival in this marriage. Rather, you are companion, united. Just as you have performed the right, lighting the candle, in one accord, you hold your hands together to be victorious. You just heard what the scripture tells us in the book of Hebrews. It says, marriage is honorable, is a honorable thing. He says, everyone should honor marriage, even those that are not yet in it. You're supposed to honor marriage. So when you, say, when you see anyone goes that enters into marriage in the presence of the Lord, because the bishop said something while, before he joined them, he said, there are, those that, there are instances where it is not in the presence of the Lord. That is not the marriage we're talking about. We are talking about a marriage instituted by God, the marriage that God prepared for his own, like the one we just witnessed today. God expects us to do what? To honor the marriage and its vows. I want you to listen very well, both of you. You must honor the marriage and its vows. You must see marriage as something of great value. You must hold your marriage in high Esteem, you must keep it pure. That is undefiling your bed. Never defile your home. This child is not only expected at home or in the church only, but everywhere you go, you go as one. For it says, two shall become one. Marriage can be dishonored in several ways. I just want to crave time to just list some of them. One of the ways to dishonor a marriage is unfaithfulness. I know when you hear unfaithfulness, a lot of you might think is uh, flirting. Unfaithfulness can be in different ways. If you are going to Dallas and you tell me you are going to Fort Worth, that is unfaithfulness. So don't think of faithfulness is only when you look at another woman. Amen? Unfaithfulness means you are disloyal, you are fake and false. You must be truthful at all times. Amen? Kevin, know that when you are traveling to the east and you tell your wife, I am heading towards the west, they are calling me over there for a business. You must be faithful to your wife. 
The same thing applies to Pamela. You can't be going to Walmart and tell your husband, I'm going to Kroger. Hallelujah. As simple as that is called unfaithful. Neglect is another thing that dishonors marriage. And neglect can come from either party. It can come from the man or it can come from the woman. I pray you will not engage in that in the name of Jesus. Adultery is another thing that dishonors marriage. And God specifically put that as one of the commandments. Adultery. Another thing that dishonors marriage is altering its definition. In the world we live in today, marriage has been turned to different things. Marriage is between a man and a woman. I stand to say it any day and any time. Say it again. I am not afraid of anyone. The marriage as well. 